Well, there was a man named Thevenin, and he did stuff you see. There was a man named Thevenin, he was friends with you and me. Most of my audience are probably too young to remember Cliff's Notes. These were a set of abbreviated study guides that allowed students to skip reading their assigned literature. Now you just Google this stuff or go to Wikipedia. The important thing, though, is that these were, or are, a representation of a condensed form which makes something hard into something easy and manageable. This is the same idea we use to describe Thevenin's theorem. What Thevenin's theorem says is that any complicated two-terminal circuit can be represented by a single voltage source with a series resistor. That voltage source has a value V Thevenin and that resistor has a value R Thevenin. We can take something really complicated and transform it into something that's very simple and easy to work with. Thevenin, by the way, is an excellent name for a fish or your firstborn child. To get the Thevenin equivalent, we need to find the value of the voltage source and the resistor. We find the value of the voltage source V Thevenin by finding the open circuit voltage across the terminals. We find the resistance R Thevenin by turning off all the sources and looking at the equivalent resistance between the terminals. Voltage sources will become short circuits and current sources will become open circuits. To understand this better, let's do a short example of finding the Thevenin equivalent. Let's start with our Thevenin. We first turn off all sources and redraw the circuit. We are looking for the resistance between the two terminals. To do this, we use our combining resistors knowledge. Starting as far as possible from the terminals, we get 4 in parallel with 4, which is calculated as 2 ohms. That equivalent 2 ohm resistor is in series with the remaining 2 ohm resistor, and we add these together to get 4 ohms as R Thevenin. Next, let's find V Thevenin. We are looking for the voltage across the terminals if we consider the terminals as an open circuit. Since there is an open circuit at the terminals, that means that the current through the 2 ohm resistor is zero. With zero current, the voltage drop is also zero. So we're actually looking for the voltage at the node above the 2 ohm resistor. We can use voltage division to find the voltage across the second 4 ohm resistor. Using voltage division, we take the resistor we care about over the sum of the resistors and multiply by the source voltage to get 5 volts. The result is that we have replaced a more complicated circuit by a single voltage source and a resistor. Well, this is a really interesting and useful process, and it allows us to replace something difficult with something easy, just like Cliff's Notes. One big reason why this is important is that when we have the Thevenin equivalent and we put a load resistor onto that circuit, we can do voltage division to find the voltage and power across the load. That's the subject of the next video. Well, thank you for watching. If you think that I've earned it, I would love it if you would subscribe. You can find me on Twitter or Instagram at BDMcFerrin. This is Dr. McFerrin. Stay awesome.